Pisces. What do I have in my Pisces collective spirit? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Whew. I ask that the powers of me watch over me during this reading. Y'all know how I see and read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. What do you have for my Pisces collective? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I am favored and highly protected from all evil. Amen. So are you, collective, if you vibing and living in the light, guys. You gotta live in the light. You truly got to live in the light, guys. i seen the tower in reverse. Someone's going to lose out, but when this tower goes down, someone's going to come out of the rebel looking good, Pisces. I'm not getting that phoenix rising. It's like someone's going to be buried alive, and they're going to come out of this situation, and they're going to be better and stronger. You know what I mean? Spirit didn't come in and tear the fucking tower down. It just kind of crumbled on somebody, and someone's going to have to pull their ass out. And in the process of getting out of this mess, cleaning up their mess, they're going to come out stronger and healed. But very good energy, Pisces. I like that. What do you have for my Pisces? Okay. The Hermit in Reverse. Someone is definitely ready to talk. They wanted to talk before I even got these fucking cards uh, split. Okay, Pisces. So someone's grown very impatient to come in to talk. Okay. Someone wants a new start. The Hierophant here with the Knight of Wands. This could be dealing with the good old Lord up above or the Court of Law. Guys, someone's a little guarded, though. They got the guards up when they come in. Because someone someone knows they need to bring in an apology, but they also know they need to heal a situation. So they're not quite sure how they're going to make this apology and come in to heal the situation with you, Pisces. This was a very dominant energy that, I, I mean... Ooh, y'all, whatever the fuck they did, they were very strong and dominant, okay? They hurt. They hurt you. They broke your fucking heart. They were way stronger than maybe they thought they were when they were dealing, you know, maybe someone was play punching you, but they hit a little hard and they actually hurt you. They left a mark. I'm really feeling that's the energy here. And someone didn't realize it. They didn't realize just how hard they hurt. And now they feel bad, right? Because they didn't really mean to hurt you. But they did. And I ain't even going to look at that emperor in reverse, guys. Nope. Not going near it. So if I was you, I wouldn't either. Queen of Swords in the upright. The moon in the upright. And the three of wands. Pisces, you're cutting through the bullshit. You're taking that sword of yours and you're cutting someone's mask off. You're done. You're done with lies and confusion and deception. That's not your game anymore. You're about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Perhaps you're growing impatient for a new start. You're growing impatient for something, or this is an energy around you, Pisces. A three of Wands with the Three of Pentacles and the Everything is Fine card. Three, three, four, fours, and the death card. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Pisces with the Ace of Cups showing up here. Definitely dealing with the water sign. I think you're in your power. You're getting control of your emotions. Right? And perhaps you're cutting out the things that don't serve you. You're, you're loving yourself right now. And you're standing in your self-loving power. Because this, this moon energy, we got the hang one in reverse. With the Knight of Swords. Someone knows, or someone's, well, y'all, lies and deception here, right? Someone was wearing a mask this whole time, and someone could definitely have some mental issues with this little demon coming out of that water. But someone is so trapped in their fucking head and stuck. They want to move forward, and they want to communicate, and I'm going to tell y'all, they, they want love. This is about love. Got someone coming in wanting to show their emotions, but they are so fucking in their head. They are stuck in this uh, uh, dark night of the soul energy, sleepless nights, overeating, over drinking, over, over whatever the fuck they need to do to get over the situation, to quit thinking about it. But they can't. The longer they stay in this energy, the, the tighter them ropes get. 
and it's preventing any communication. But all they really want to do is, is, is come in with this little cup of love. They want to make an offer. Now, this is very interesting. Three threes, ten, four fours, and the death card. Okay? So, this is like a progression. Someone is growing impatient because they want to get this new start. They want to come in and work with you. But they're not quite sure how that's going to work, right? If they kind of did you dirty in the past, maybe you don't want to work with this person. Maybe you're not interested in this person anymore, right? Four, four, four of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups. Someone's releasing the hold that the past had on them. Now, Pisces, this could be your energy, right? This person's wanting to come in and work on something, but you've done let this shit go, right? The woulda, shoulda, couldas. You're not holding on to the past. You're letting the past go. Because maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio here. You're ending a situation. You're ending any manipulation when it comes to your emotions. Because you found self-love. Now, I don't care how much love somebody comes towards you with, right? If, if you can't trust them or you don't, you know, have any faith in their words, then how are you going to get started? So, Pisces, you found self-love. You found control over your emotions. And you're going to end anything because you're not living in these past regrets. You've let go of any past regrets. Maybe even dealing with this person if you know who this person is. Or maybe this person has let go of any past regrets with you. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you probably couldn't work with this person anyway. If you did, you'd be gritting your teeth half the time because, you know, it just wouldn't work out. And you just keep hanging on to it instead of letting it go, instead of letting it end, because you would just keep wanting to give this person a chance. The spirit's like, no, you need to let that shit go. You just need to let that shit go, Pisces. Let that shit go. Maybe the title of y'all's video. Let's split the deck and see what we get. The star in reverse, the sun. And the tower. Yeah, this tower come in how did that go? Tower in the upright? This tower come in to wake you up, okay? Now you're kind of seeing the, the opposite of what you were in, right? If you were in your emotions before and unhealed, you're seeing the light. You're seeing the truth in your actions and others' actions. That's what this tower was about, to illuminate. You know, that tower uh, shed some light on what you needed to work on, on what needed to be worked on. So it's beautiful energy. So even though you have a tower, it's for your benefit, Pisces. Go with it. Find yourself love. And then, you know, you'll be able to stand your own. And who knows? In the process, you might get a reconciliation with an earth sign here. So, I like that energy, Pisces. Peace, love, and light, guys. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light.